Hey, what's going on there? Youth Pastors Paul Turner here from the DiscipleProject.net. So glad to be with you today. We have a great game video for you today. You may have seen it as a short, but I thought I'd expand upon this with a little twist. But before we get into that, I want to remind you, if you're brand new here to the channel, thank you for visiting. Thank you for being a part. Be sure to click that subscribe button down there. You get videos like this in your inbox on a regular basis. And don't forget to click that bell notification there. And that way you'll know when I go live and you can jump in and be a part of the conversation. All right, so today we're going to talk about chair basketball. And you may have seen this as a short uh, and I put it up and that was it. Don't, no context for it, whatever, just to kind of watch. But I thought I'd break that down a little bit more since we recently ended our Summer Olympic showdown that we had. And I decided to put a little twist on it and put in some black lights. So let's take a look at what it looks like and then I'll break it down for you afterwards. Now, you can see that the kids had a lot of fun and that our room is pretty small, uh, but that works for me when it comes to the black lights. Now, the black lights are just your black light fluorescent lights. And I think they're like four feet long. And uh, by the way, I'll put a link down below if you want to find a place on Amazon, you can get those. So yeah, I just took out the lights, uh, replaced them with the black lights. We don't have a lot in there. Uh, so I think we had maybe 10 lights overall that kind of gave the great lighting effect in there. And when we divide the teams, we divide them evenly and we play for about 15 minutes. Uh, and you can see there's not a whole lot of rules. There just isn't. I will say this, when I allow the tip off, uh, I let them get out of their chairs for that. It gives a little extra action that they can do. I don't let them get too wild. Uh, but I let them play for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes is a good time for this game. And uh, every five minutes, I say, do you want to change up? Like, because if they want to change somebody uh, to play defense or somebody to be better on offense or somebody's a better shooter or whatever it is, I just change them up and let them have that option to change up every five minutes. Now, you may say, well, how'd you get those Nerf uh, hoops to stick up there? Well, I just use that, the, the, you know, the stuff that you use to hang pictures on the wall. And I put about eight of those on the back and squashed them on there. And just to make sure, I took a very thin nail and kind of made sure it kind of stuck in there. Uh, so it would lay flat and uh, and it would not fall down because that would just been the bummer. But I made sure I took care of all that before we played and it wound up being an excellent fun time. So black light for any game is a great way to put a twist on something. I would love to hear from you though. Have you played chair basketball or black light chair basketball? Leave me a comment down below. All right, and that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching today. If you want to watch more game videos, well, I have a whole playlist right here. You can check out a bunch of videos over there and uh, learn to play some new games with your kids. Uh, but yeah, but that's it for today. Be sure to click that thumbs up button. Let me know you like the video and you want more of them. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.